Let's take a look at how to multiply two numbers up to 100. They ask us to multiply 20 times 18. Now normally when I'm multiplying two two-digit numbers together, I like to write them out and show the whole process. But when I'm multiplying by a number like 10, 20, 30, right, something that ends in zero or even 100 and more, this means I can multiply by two and then just put a zero on my answer. So it makes it a little bit easier mental math if you notice that and you can use your rule that every zero is gonna just add a zero on our answer, right? If I multiply by 10, it's gonna put one zero on my answer. If I multiplied by 100, it would put two zeros on my answer. So when I multiply by 20, I can multiply by two and then just put a zero on my answer. And that's just gonna make my mental math a little easier. So I'm thinking of this as two times 18 well, 2 times 18 would give me 36, and then I'm going to put the 0 on that. So that's going to give me 360 altogether. together. 17 times 7. Okay, so 17 times 7 if you're not sure off the top of your head, what you would do is set it up like this and say, okay, I'm going to multiply the 7 times both digits. Okay, so 7 times 7 is 49. So I would write the 9 and bring the 4 over into the next place value. 7 times 1 is 7 plus the extra 4 that I brought over is 11. So altogether, my answer is 119. Seven times 16. Okay, well, I'm going to do the same thing. And you can write 7 times 16 or 16 times 7. They mean the same thing. Remember, order does not matter when you multiply. But I like to write the number with more digits first, so I can only multiply one time. So first, I'm going to say, okay, well, what is 7 times 6? That's 42. So I'm going to write the 2 and bring the 4 over. And then I have to say, what is 7 times 1? Well, 7 times 1 is 7, and then I still have to add that extra 4, which gives me 11. So I'm going to wind up with 112. 13 times 2. Now, you can write it this way. This one you might know 13 times 2 off the top of your head. If you don't, you could always write it out this way and say 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 1 is 2, which gives me 26. 20 times 5. Okay, well this ends in a 0, so we can use some mental math here. So I can think of this as 2 times 5, and then just put an extra 0 on my answer. So 2 times 5 would give me 10. Since I was multiplying by 20 and not just 2, I would need to add an extra 0. That's going to give me 100. 2 times 1. Well, anything times 1 stays the same, so 2 times 1 is just 2. 4 times 1. Well, multiplying by 1 does not change our value, so 4 times 1 is just 4. 12 times 7. Okay, well, if you're not sure off the top of your head, write it out this way. 12 times 7. And then 7 has to get multiplied by both of these digits. So 7 times 2 is 14. I'm going to put the 4, carry the 1. 7 times 1 is 7, plus the extra 1 makes it 8. So my answer would be 84. 15 times 15. Now this one comes up a lot, so you might remember it. If not, let's write it out this way. Okay, so now when you have a two-digit number times a two-digit number, first I'm going to take the first digit, the five, and multiply it by both of these. Then I'm going to have to multiply these by the one in the tens place. So I'm going to put a zero and multiply that one. So let me show you the process. It's a little easier to see it as we go. So I'm going to first take this five, and multiply it by both numbers. So 5 times 5 gives me 25. So I'm going to write the 5, bring the 2 over, 
And then five times one gives me five, plus the two I brought over makes it seven. Right, so five times 15 gave us 75. I'm gonna cross this off so I don't think it's for the second part. Now, when I multiply it by this one, it's not just one, it's really like a 10, right? Because it's in the tens place. So I'm gonna put a zero in the ones place, and then I'm gonna multiply both of these by the one. So one times five gives me five, and one times one gives me one. Okay, and now I need to add these together because this first one told me what five times 15 was, and the second part told me what 10 times 15 was. So if I add them together, it'll tell me what 15 times 15 was. So I have to add the columns together. So five plus zero gives me five, Seven plus five is 12, so I'm gonna write the two and bring the one over into the next place value, and one plus one is two. So all together, it gave me 225.